All right, so 2019 is now officially underway. Maybe your New Year's resolutions is in place with regards to your exercise and your diet. And we are helping you out this morning because what we found is that people tend to overcomplicate their approach to fitness and how to go about that with regards to their diet and how they need to structure their setup in terms of reaching their goals. So this morning, we're connecting with Cindy Abrams this, this morning. That's going to be taking us through a bit of an exercise segment later on as well. But to chat about what's her approach to not overcomplicate a workout so that you can actually reach those goals. Cindy, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Glad to have you. Thank you for having me. Nice oh. seeing you both. Good to see you yeah. too. And you know, I'm very excited for this chat because I'm guilty of overcomplicating it. You know, you're going back, you hit it hard. But I need to ask you, being, you know, in personal training for a number of years, what, what is the thing that people tend to do that make them overcomplicate their new fitness routine or their exercise regime? So basically, someone that doesn't train tend to get up and think, oh, I'm going to New Year's resolution train. So then they jump straight into CrossFit training or powerlifting or boxing. You should gradually work yourself into it. So um, like if you don't exercise, taking a dog for a walk. So you have to find something that is simple, that's easy, that you enjoy, that you're not going to feel so much pain tomorrow morning. You yeah. don't want to go back to the gym. So you get into the gym and you start lifting all these heavy weights tomorrow morning, biceps, triceps, so I'm not doing that again for another week. Yeah. And I, <laughs> Ease into it. Exactly. And I do also find by, by taking that approach in terms of, you know, going in there and smashing a workout, yes. um, you maybe keep it up for a couple of days and then you're like, this is not for exactly. me. Because it scares you off. Yes, it does. So what's your biggest advice in terms of that specifically and, and how you you personally work around that? So, well, so basically what I do is when I started gymming like 15 years ago, I found something that I enjoyed, but I was a dancer. So I started with dance classes. Then I started getting onto a treadmill, then cycling, no. then lifting the weight. So everything has to be at your own pace. So don't just rush into it. Yeah. So just go slow. Yoga, start by yoga. Yeah. Bikram yoga, Pilates, those types of things. Yeah. It's Abs, anything. Yeah, and I can vow for that in terms of the flexibility because I think a lot of people have a lot of yes. aches and pains and if you're going to go to the gym, you know, it might aggravate it. So getting your body supple is a great way to start off with. It yeah. also causes imbalances. Exactly. So you're running too much and then you don't have a balance between the abs, the legs, you're not strengthening your core, you're not strengthening your ankles. Yeah. Well, in terms of keeping things simple, I know that Instagram has become that platform where people do crazy things in their little videos. Jeez. And people forget that those videos yes. are edited. Yeah. They didn't do all of those reps just like that. But how, your best advice for someone that, you know, tend to overcomplicate things, how, what's the best way for them to keep it simple? So basically overcomplicating it is when you do um, a burpee <laughs> onto a box and you go onto another thing and your legs are doing all these crazy things in the air. Don't do that. Just do a normal push-up. Yeah. Just do a normal squat using your body weight. Don't jump into the boxes yet. Yeah. Don't try and do monkey bars and pull-ups. <laughs> You're not there yet. Work your way up to a triple <laughs> backflip off the yes, box. Yes, okay. sit on a chair. Work your triceps. <laughs> Listen, um, also running, of course, cardio is a very good way of uh, becoming fit yes. and to, to strengthen your body from the inside out. Um, if somebody wants to maybe hit the road and start running, maybe that's not a runner, like you've said, that has those imbalances, uh, what's your advice in terms of how to start? Running actually starts by walking. So you walk, then you power walk, then you jog, then you start sprinting. You don't just run out by the door and do a five kilometer run. So running is also about breathing. There's certain mm -hmm. techniques that you use in breathing. So power walking is like a lot of people say, no, I don't do that because it looks funny because your hips is going. <laughs> but it's actually, it helps you on the road because you basically need to sit down in your hips when you're doing those marathons yeah. and when you're doing those runs. Exactly. So don't just start sprinting because you can get shin splints because it's, some people run on the ball, others run heel toe. Yeah. So you first need to find the correct balance, what works for you, what shoes to wear. Yeah. There's a lot of things to take into account. And as always, consistency is key. <laughs> Whatever yes. you decide to do, take it slow, but yes. make it consistent. And start around well. the block. Just go around, around the block. The block. <laughs> well, we're going to start off with the basics and we're going to keep it simple. Cindy's not going anywhere, so stay tuned to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Because after in a little bit, we're going to be doing a little simple workout. Simple workout, no weights, no going down into the floor. You can do it in your kitchen or at your office. Okay, well stay tuned, <laughs> go get your gym clothing because we're coming back in a little bit.